Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a validity list like so, which will change the actual scores on the doors from this table. And then I'm going to put a little donut chart underneath this so you can see what the impact of that would be. So first of all, I just want to recreate this table. I'm just going to copy these two labels, copy and put them over here, do this again. So complete and remaining. Then I'm going to add a few people, Bill, Ben, Anne, Jane, Colin, and Steve. I'll do with my people and then I'm going to give them some complete scores. Right, so now these are not all formatted to percent, so I will do that. They're all formatted to percent, so I'll have to put that in again. The numbers don't really mean anything, but I'll just right. So, so now I need a, a formula which is going to look at this figure here equals that cell D1 F4 to lock it minus this cell. Ticking that formula get the remaining amount double clicking that down so that's my little table so what i want to do now is just highlight these two again copy them paste it down here and in this cell i want a validity list to show me the people like i've got there i want it here so that is on the data tab data tab and over on the right there, validity, and then you're selecting cell range, and then you highlight the range in there. Like that, that's my range. Okay to that. So that now gives me um, a list of people, which is what I want. I'll just um, color that one up so you can see where I am. Now let me just select somebody. So I'll select Phil. Now, what I want to do here is a B lookup. It's going to look at Bill and tell me what the scores on the doors are for Bill. So that wants to come back as 34% and 66 remaining. Before I do that, though, I'm going to highlight those two cells and just format them to percent, like so. And now I can do a B lookup in there. So equals B lookup. Open the bracket. I'm looking for Bill, comma. And I'm looking in this table, highlighting that table, comma. I'm looking for column two, two, comma, and I want an exact match, which is a zero. Some people prefer to put false. I prefer to put zero. Ticking that, and I'm expecting it to come back with 34. Now, if I pull that over, what's going to happen is that cell is not locked. So I could have named that, I could have dollar signed it, or I could have named it and then used the names. And then I could have used the names in as this table. What's where I, what, 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 what happens when I pull it over? The whole formula. So it's looking at F8, which is this. It's looking at the table and coming back with the second. It's actually coming back with the right answer, but that's just by sheer fluke, because that should be looking at the third column and it should be looking at Bill. So I don't want that to do that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to name some of these cells. So call in bill, bill cell person, press enter to name it. I'm going to call this little table staff, press an enter to name it. And then I'm going to change this formula. I'm going to go equals B lookup, same formula, open the bracket. But now I'm looking at person instead of a cell. And because that's named, it is absolute, so it's locked. I don't need to worry about dollar signs. Now, the table I've called staff, staff, I'm still looking for column two. So that's column one, column two, column three. So I'm looking at column two, comma zero. I want an exact match. Closing the bracket, clicking the tick. Still get the 34%, but when I pull this across, all I have to do is just change the column number to three to three everything else can stay the same 
like so, 66, 34. I'm going to highlight this information. I'm going to go insert chart, selecting the pie chart because that's where it is. Donut creates a donut chart, and then I'm just going to go finish. Now I need to just click off this a second and then back onto it just to make this a lot smaller than what it is. Let's make it a lot smaller so I can then move it up underneath this little table. Now, if I change one of these people to Bill, that changed over and that changed back. So you've got complete is blue remaining. Now, if you double click on these again twice, you've got the actual degree there. If you do this clock direction that'll change it slightly what's what happens if i go select somebody else bill this is going the other way it's up to you how you want this to be so that's basically a quick look at how you can name a table name a cell use the b lookup and then create a donut chart based on that data so hopefully that's of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one